Hello, this video is recorded by Group 13 and I want to show you how to use the basics of two-plan desktop version for small simple project for students. Let's open up the two-plan application. Workspace is where your project files are saved and you can change them by simply clicking browse. Go to system menu and select new. Please note that if you haven't read our wiki, Gantt Chat Project Plan is a simple project plan we think is more suitable for student projects. So, I will make a sample project with, with Gantt Chat Project Plan. You can easily find out the differences between Effort Driven and Gantt Chat Project Plan in our wiki. Once you start, you have to name your project and set starting date. Click Finish. This window displays project you are working on. You can work on multiple projects and simply switch by clicking the arrow. Let's go to the project calendar tab first. Please note that these are tabs and information related to, to these tabs are displayed on the right hand table. You can adjust working hours on each day and apply exceptions such as holidays and overtime. I assume weekends are working days for student project, so I will put some numbers in for weekends. For default Gantt Chat project plan, which we are on, only resource available to add is a human resource. Budgets, materials, and hourly chain charge options are available in effort driven project plan. But since most SCMS student projects likely to have only human resource, we assume that it will be fine to find with Gantt Chat project plan. Right click on any part inside your project and click add person or go to the button on the top and choose add person. You now see a person has been added. When you click on persons, you see the person that you just created. On the right hand side, and you can edit all sort of information. Please note that name here is a last name and I don't know why they have done this but it, do it doesn't really bother us so let's continue on. To be honest, for default Gantt Chat project plan adding human resource is nothing more than having a list of people related to the project and their information. Which means there's a, there's a no function of assigning resources in any numerical value to tasks or stages which I will create soon. It is wise to create milestones before you create tasks because there's an option where you set the milestones for each task and it is better to have that option in term of Gantt chat view which we will see in the moment. Like adding person, right click inside the project and add milestone. You don't have to click external unless the milestone is external which means out of your project scope. Adding milestone is similar to adding person except that you have to set the date for milestone. These are just examples and every group meeting can be a milestone. Now let's add some tasks. In two-plan project management software, adding tasks is called adding work packages. You can simply add work packages by right-clicking.
What is good about two plan work package is it's very flexible. You can easily make subtasks or change orders in any form or delete them. You can delete any task by simply right click and click delete object. This applies to human resources and milestones as well. When you have finished adding tasks and stages, you now have to link them, which is an option for specifying procedures. Please note that it is important to link the following stage with previous task, but it is not recommended to link the first occurring task with its stage since it, it will mess up the Gantt chat view. Once you finished linking up all tasks and stages, you will also see that work breakdown structure has also been completed by two planned desktop, which you will see in this tab. Before we move on to the final part of the video, please note that in order to delete your project, you have to click on your project and go to system menu and select delete project. Now, let's look at some other options. Go to Windows menu. You will be able to see many different views depending on your perspective. Which means for controlling perspective, you will be able to see only four different views which are related to controlling process, but you will be able to access other views such as graphical WBS if you change your perspective. Before we finish up, let's just check what plugins are available. Please click the button on the very light right and you will see a window with list of plugins. Some of them are free, which are very useful. For example, there's a plugin which allows you to import project file from Microsoft Project. And other plugins such as Adding Role, Team and Risk which will help you prior, prioritize risks as well as documentation. I would recommend you to install risk, role, and team for additional features and an additional space where you can input some details and since two plan desktop Gantt chat plan do not provide sufficient space for typing in details. Okay, this is it. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.